For today's update, we have a total of 30 new cases in British Columbia, uh, 29 who tested positive and one epidemiologically linked case, giving us a total of 3,392 people with COVID-19 in British Columbia. Um, that includes 1,051 people in the Vancouver Coastal Health Region, 1,750 in the Fraser Health Region, 142 people on Vancouver Island Health, uh, 315 people in the Interior Health Region, 77 in the Northern Health Region, and 57 people who reside outside of Canada. Um, we have now uh, 304 active cases in the province in all health authorities, uh, 16 of whom are uh, people in hospital, three of whom are in ICU or critical care. Um, we have 2,898 people who are fully recovered and unfortunately we've had one additional death in the last 24 hours in a person in, um, in long-term care, bringing our total number of people who have died from COVID-19 to 190 and our condolences go out to the family and the community of this person. We have no new health care facility outbreaks and we continue to have outbreak in one long-term care facility and two acute care facilities. We do continue to have exposure events that we are monitoring across the province, um, many of them in the uh, interior health region in the central and south Okanagan where a number of events happened over the past couple of weeks that have led to a surge in cases in those areas, um, some of whom are people who have returned uh, to other parts of British Columbia. As we know, this virus can be a stealth virus. We have seen it move around our province, sometimes silently, with far-reaching impacts and serious consequences. Inside or outside, visiting a friend or out for dinner, being around crowds of people, especially people you don't know, puts you and your family and your friends at risk. Instead, for you and those you care for to stay safe, we need you to keep your groups small. Only spend time with those that you are closest to, those you know, and use your layers of protection when you're around others. Our restaurants have a requirement of no more than six people per table. That is a, a manageable group that reduces risks. You can use this number as your guidance for other social activities, whether it's a small group going to the beach, whether you're going to a park, whether you're going to have a, a get together at a friend's place keep your groups small. That is what is going to prevent transmission to more of us in our communities right now. If you are going into a small store or taking transit where it is difficult to maintain our safe distances, then wear a mask. That's part of our layers of protection for ourselves and for each other. You can protect your household bubble, your family, your close friends by being mindful of those around you and giving each of us the space to stay safe. Everyone deserves to have a fun summer and I think we need it here in BC and across the world with what we've been dealing with for the last few months. But it needs to be a safe summer as well. Today we know that over a thousand people in every health authority across our province are self-isolating because they have been exposed to COVID-19. Some of those people will develop this virus and this illness in the coming weeks. And they've exposed, a good proportion of those people were exposed at parties and events that have happened over the last few weeks in the central Okanagan, particularly in and around Kelowna. These British Columbians, these people in BC, have had to close their businesses or miss work, isolate from their family and leave their home unless it's to get medical care. That is the impact that this is having on our friends and our families in this province right now. It shows us that the actions of a few, even if inadvertent, can cause a tremendous impact. Uh, we are in the process of introducing an order, I will be introducing an order, requiring those who rent properties, whether it's boats, rooms, Airbnb, host boats or houses, to limit the numbers of guests and visitors to those premises as part of those rental agreements. That order will apply across the province because we know that this is not just an issue in the Okanagan. This is an issue that has affected um, vacation and rental places across BC. 
This will be another step in ensuring that we have those provisions in place that reduce the numbers of people who are gathering and the risk to all of us when this virus is transmitted. Yet we can take confidence in knowing here in BC that we know what we need to do to turn this surge around and to get our curve back down. I encourage everyone to be the voice of compassion and reason and to call out your friends if they're not feeling well and they want to go out with you or if they're supposed to be staying home and isolating. Support them in doing that so that we can stop this transmission, stop these chains and get back to our, our summer and our fun. To show those around you you care, have safe social interactions with fewer faces, and larger spaces. Let's flatten our curve once again and let's all do our part by being kind and being calm and being safe. <laughs>